hello and welcome to another video so in this video i have this dso138 oscilloscope now this one is one of the most cheapest and affordable oscilloscope for every beginner so if i just power it on using a 9 volt battery you can see it's running on the firmware version 042 so that's actually a older firmware version now obviously it works fine but uh, since it was delivered to me with an older version i want the latest version to be installed on this device so for that in this video i will be trying to upgrade the firmware of this oscilloscope now in order to upgrade the uh, firmware of this device we have a couple of jumpers that i can see which is written uart then swd and a usb port if we just take a look into the upgrade guide by jye tech in this pdf they are uh, telling about the method of upgrading firmware to this device so this one runs with a uh, microcontroller that is STM32F103 C86 which is one of the common microcontroller by ST Electronics. Now the serial port of DSO138J5 uses a 3.3 level TTL. So we need to have a 3.3 volt and uh, there is obviously one programmer that is shown here. And then we need a software that is called Flash Bootloader Demonstrator to uh, flash the firmware. We obviously need the latest firmware hex file so we can uh, get it from the link here. So I have already uh, downloaded these files so I will not be uh, downloading once again. So we can get these files from the link given in the description. Now uh, the connection diagram is shown here we have a USB to TTL converter that will convert the uh, USB signal from PC to the DSO138 and uh, here one connection diagram also is shown TX to RX and RX to TX it will be connected. Then uh, we have to uh, obviously uh, short the JP1 and the JP2 on the back of the board so if we just take a look at the oscilloscope on the back of the board so here we have the jp1 and jp2 so these two uh, jumpers we need to short to uh, get this into a bootloader mode and for the usb to ttl converter i will be uh, using this ftti module now uh, this one has the rx and tx connector and obviously we need only the ground pin here so three pins we will be connecting using the jumper wires and uh, before that i have to short the jp1 and jp2 also so let's first do that So here I have uh, shorted the JP1 and JP2. Now if I just power on this device, I hope it will not boot up and it will go into the bootloader mode. So yeah, it's just the white screen. That means it is in the bootloader mode. Now we need to connect the RX and TX pin conversely to the TX and RX and the ground pin to the oscilloscope. So here I have made the connection from FTDI module to the oscilloscope and now let's take a look into the software part. So for this I will have to uh, use the uh, flash loader demonstrator software. So let's double click on this and I think it's installing. So let's allow it to install. Finish okay so here we are at the flash loader demonstrator software 
so here we have to uh, make things as per the document so uh, here it is uh, selected the comport baud rate and uh, parity echo timeout so these things we have to set up as per the documentation so here it is com3 selected parity even baud rate selected already echo disabled so timeout we need to change it to five and then next unrecognized device please reset your device again okay let's press the reset button okay target is readable please click next to proceed so uh, the target is already readable so now let's click next and we have the next page here so if i just scroll down through the uh, document here we can see the exact same screen and we have to select the same target as given here it is stm32 f1 mid density 64k so stm32 f1 mid density 64k it is selected pid bid version everything is selected and let's click next okay so here we have to select again all the same download to device then obviously i will have to select the hex file which is the hex file here it is selected then everything looks same erase necessary pages okay optimize then we have to check this option verify after download then nothing else so uh, now i'm ready to click next as everything looks similar so yeah it's downloading and obviously the led lights are flashing so now it's verifying downloaded data cool so now download operation finished successfully so let's close this now uh, i will just remove the usb plug and remove the ftdi module as well remove the power and i will have to uh, desolder these jumpers again now these are de-shouldered back into their uh, normal operation mode so now i will connect the power to uh, see whether the new firmware is operating or not so here i have the 9 volt battery and yeah it's now 061 version 061 okay so it's a warning warning against the counterfeit product now as you can see the scope trace is much more stable and noise free than the uh, previous version so i will just connect the uh, probe and then i will see the uh, internal one kilohertz frequency how it appears so i will just have to connect this to this resistor and here it is so here it is measuring and if i just try to bring the trace 
down a little bit and yeah it looks much better at least uh, it's much better than the previous version so i'm pretty happy with the uh, performance of this new version it's a little bit better than the uh, previous one and uh, i can see slightly less noise in the trace itself of course i can uh, adjust this using these uh, variable capacitors but that always doesn't uh, gives a good result so that's all for this video if you uh, like this video give me a thumbs up and uh, please make sure to subscribe to this channel i will be making more videos uh, like this one and there are many more projects that i am working on so make sure to check out my other playlist so thank you very much for watching see you in my next video